The nuts on tour Rolling in the motor home Moving town to town Never feel alone Hello and welcome to this edition of Nuts on Tour I'm Mark I'm Sue They're the dogs And there's, that's what you're going to hear padding up and down Because there's no carpets on the floor And we are Nuts, Nuts on, on Tour, tour. This is the third, yeah, third, yeah, that, this is third. Third in the, yeah. Uh, this is the third in the series from the Van Life and Overlander Celebration, celebration at Newbury 2024. This is our filming from Sunday when we went round some of the show buses or show homes or show vans or vans 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 buses motorhomes all, all sorts, sorts weren't they? Yeah. yeah i know there is one bus on there that's what i was thinking of mm -hmm. but uh yeah a quick look at what some people have managed to do to their vehicles some of them are rather special i liked a couple of them <laughs> so a couple of interviews quick look around a couple of the uh, vehicles enjoy Good afternoon or good evening whenever you're watching. Yeah. Uh, this is Mark and Sue, Nuts on Tour, and, and we're doing the Newbury Van Life and Overlanders show. And parked directly opposite us is this rather nice MAN Overland truck. Here we go. Got a hydraulic pickup on the back with his, uh, his little 4x4 quad. Got this in November last year. I'll just turn us round. There you go. Hydraulic tail lift on the back. Massive pop through there. Boxes underneath. Double opening window, so you can have just the little window open or the entire panel open. There you are. MAN. There's the winch max on the front, 20,000 pound. We follow the old ways. How about that? That is excellent. Yeah. All was running repairs to do on them. And he's got the tow ball on the back just in case the truck breaks down and he needs to pull it out. Separate ladders to get in here. And I've said, yeah. can you not? You put that so. there, can you not create a thing here so I can just literally move those steps over to here if I want to get yeah. to the garage? So, yeah. There's his steps, and so he only has one set, literally. Just those just move along and, and slot in there so he can get access. access to the through and through. Brilliant idea, so he's only carrying one set of steps. And uh oh, the here's the boss. <laughs> Hello. And the ramp for my quad is the sand place. Yeah. So you're carrying sand plates anyway, so yeah. just, oh, bang, bang, crunch, bud. There and then I just use the sand plates to... Yeah, yeah. sand plates for the ramp to get the quad on and off. It's those sorts of things. It's getting your He's around. just shown us this for an idea. Instead of having a separate shower, the shower is actually the entrance hall. So the door comes across, the carpet comes up, and there you are, that's your shower tray. How is that for maximisation of utilisation of space? Brilliant. Stand in your shower and it's just all... There you go, put that back down for him. There you go. That is brilliant. So you've got one less room to take up space actually inside your box. And then stepping inside... Oh, look at that. You've got the hatch through, there you are, hatch through to the cab. 
there's your kitchen area oh I like it bioelectric coffee machine yeah lovely cooker sink and that's what it looks like from the inside oh he gets a lovely view look out that window that lovely gold bus he's looking at who's that say? nuts on tour that's us yes of course and then built-in telly and yeah I'll zoom that back out there we are built-in telly seating all the way around yeah and then at the back he's got his built-in washing machine at the bottom brilliant and then big double bed at the back fantastic and then in there is the obligatory WC toilet and washroom what a fantastic layout yeah. and he's got something the nuts hand tour haven't got hey oh he's got a microwave yay <laughs> one thing that we haven't got we don't use microwaves so yeah uh, well, it's we a ain't got one of them uh, oh is it convection as well steam, it's a steam oven oh, convection right. oven grill microwave oh multi-function one yeah, brilliant four in one. well thank you for letting us have a look around your van uh, so you're welcome uh, I hope you enjoy you the go. rest of your thank you weekend brilliant I'm sure there's plenty more that you'll uh, oh yeah go and enjoy we're going to have a little wander around the field now and see uh, see what we can film and show to the people out there oh, absolutely. brilliant uh, there you go their sticker wall was desperately short of a nuts on tour sticker so there we are nuts on tour sticker the gentleman's just said they finished it yesterday morning and what a brilliant job they've done look at that yeah there you go a full king size bed i shall pass well, oh, that's Drax talking to us. There you go. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, I can even demonstrate the king size oh, bed. Oh, there you go. Demonstration. I, well, I might be able to do it. Might be able to do it one-handed. You never know. Shall try that. That pulls out. There you go. And then that and just then that flips over. over. And that makes you your king size bed. Sleep that way. Now, think about it that way. Yeah. If you think about it that way, that bed is actually bigger than the queen size bed we get in the Globe Trotter. How's that for utilisation of space? Easy and then to that do. just slides away, and you've got your settee and your IKEA sofa. Yeah. There we go. Uh, massive fridge. Plenty yeah. of room for food and drink. Um, cupboard storage. Cupboard, yeah. yeah. Well, that's oh, that's the one see. bit we haven't finished. Absolutely. Uh, but that's in there. But most of the fridge. So that's the size of the fridge. Brilliant. <laughs> it's that's in there. Going to be a 55 litre. 60. 60. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 60. Um, blue yeah. in there as well. But hanging space as well. So you've yeah. got your hanging space in there. Um, and all electric. Yes. All electric. No gas whatsoever um, well, we've, we've got gas but we try to minimize use of it because it's getting yeah. harder to find to find it exactly and all the electric yeah yeah but yeah but, there um, you go yeah <laughs> and this is Mike and this is your go on what bus is it this is the Malagator bus right so it's a 814d Mercedes Vario Right. Um, coach built, and it's um, Hang on. quite yeah. past that. Right. We'll try that again so that it, you can hear a bit more of it. So it's a 814D, um, and it's a coach built. So there's a bit of a difference between this and some of the others. Yeah. So I come in and have a look. Yeah. Oh. So this is um, an extended oh. version. So it's eight and a half meters long, and it's stainless steel. 
So it's a stainless steel chassis bus. And from, you can see all the wood. So yeah, it's eight and a half meters nose to back. Yeah. Um, and it was a council crash from, from birth. So when it was made, it was like a toilet at the back and a yeah. little kitchenette. And then basically the whole lot was a playground. Um, and it's done 11,000 miles from new. So it's done, it did 200 miles a year from one car park to the back. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, it's only just gone over 12,000. So I've done about 600 miles in it from the build. Oh, really? Um, yes. So it's Everything 20... you need. You've got a cooker, yeah, you've it's got a sink area. It's got, Brilliant. I've got 1,000 litres, on, um, 1,000 watts on the roof. I've got four kilowatt Victron set up. So I've got full Victron in here. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's the blue stuff. So yeah. it's full 5G in here, it's got Alexa, I've got 400 litres of water on board at all times. Um, so I'm, I'm now just ticking over at 100%, so it's like running about 140 watts, so that's running the fridge and the pumps and everything in general. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, it's pretty much, well, it's, it's never been plugged in, it's never been charged, it's just running off the solar now. So it's collect from new from when I've put the solar in. It's collected 150 kilowatts now. Wow! So um, I've never run out of power, and I'm just yeah. running on two little lead acids at the minute. I've just ordered uh, some lithium, yeah. and I'm just sort of waiting on the backlog of that. But I've got a full size shower, yeah. Um, yeah. Composting toilet, full size bed, um, full size kitchen. Near enough. I yeah, mean, it, full size kitchen. it all it all folds out. So I mean, it all fold, turns into an island. Excuse the mess. Oh no, we, the, that's the thing. People say, "Excuse me, we live in these things." So, so this, yeah, it all folds how's in. How's that for it, ladies? How's that for extending your workspace? So this turns Just into slide some. Slide them out, and that gives you a three-sided horseshoe kitchen. Brilliant. And then. With that as well, just while it's here, I mean, this is all the original paperwork from when it was a, a crash, and I've got all the history. I've got even all the CAD. All the drawing. Now, got, how many people, when they buy theirs, even us with a globe trotter, get the plans for how it was built? So this was the original plan. Of, Brilliant. So the, that's right. That, so this was the, the original. You can see how it was built. Now this is what it was when I took it on. So it had the, t the toilet at the back, yeah. and then it had a kitchen, and basically all of this was just a playground for the children. Oh, so brilliant. It, it did two, yeah, it did 200 meters a day. That was all it ever drove. <laughs> and then I've got, this is the rest of the paperwork what came with the bus when I got it. And it even has the snagging drawings for every component ever fitted. Oh, from brilliant. New. So it's got uh, taps. Full manual list of what's, full taps what's and fitted where. And even, even the valves. Um, I've even got the toy list of all the toys that were placed in there. <laughs> yeah. um, and I've got a 250 litre auxiliary tank, which used to run the generator. Oh, okay. oh for the fuel, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's now been converted and it runs heating oil to run my diesel heater. Oh, okay. So I've got so you've got diesel for the engine and then a separate tank for the yeah, diesel. Yeah, so I carry 250 litres worth of heating oil. Yeah. So um, I don't think I'm ever going to have to fill that up. Ever. No. That'll keep you going for a, yeah, and a then, good few winters, I would have thought, even and, in the UK. Yeah, and then even with the, the log burner as well. So, I mean, I've got every, everything in here. I've got full I'm composting. I'm just going to turn around now. I haven't got my wide angle lens on today, but there you are. A log burner in a motorhome. And then... There you go. And the chimney goes up and through. So I've had the burner, so I've had the burner box at about 300 degrees and the hottest I've ever got on the flue at the top after a full day is about 40 degrees. Oh, so it's all, it's all twin wool flued, yeah. it's all insulated. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's a multi-fuel stove, so it'll burn anything yeah. from yeah. dead wood and coal. Um, I've had it up to 33 degrees in there yeah. on the drive when I've been working in it. So when the council built this originally with everything involved, it, um, the bill was up to over 200,000 when, when it was brand wow. new. Um, and then, yeah, it pretty much lived its life in a car park and now it's been converted and it will be living in it again. Brilliant. Well, thank you very That's much right, for mate. your time and thank you so much for showing That's the right. viewers round. Brilliant. Lovely van tour yep. and a lovely bus. Here we are. And 
another Mercedes 814 and all the wood stickers all underneath And there you go, there's the bunk beds, the main bed, nicely thought out, nicely laid out, brilliant. And here we've got the little Volkswagen Golf Carmen, and in front of that the Volkswagen Caravanette. I'm not sure of the model number of this one. I don't think it's the split screen one. Um, how's that for a cool engine? Totally cleaned up and like brand new. Absolutely wonderful. There we go. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that little insight into, well, vans, what other people can do, what other people have done, yeah. or, built, not bought. Yes, changed, built, like you say, not improved, bought, improved, modified. Yeah, modified. Yeah, done some, there's some good ones there. I liked yeah. them. Yeah. It was. There were some good ideas. Yeah, we got some good ideas. We talked to some people about what they'd done and thought, oh, I can do it. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah well, I can modify that. But we can we're not. Yeah, we're yeah. not doing major modifications because. They're just things to make life a bit more comfortable yeah. in here. <laughs> it's uh, what we've got is how we bought it, more or less. Yeah. I've just done little modifications, but uh, like the table and things like that. Yeah. But they, uh, it, it all helps. A, oh, make up. it yours, and B, make it either easier to live in or easier to live with yeah. and uh, more comfortable. Like I all, mean, adds, all adds up, doesn't it? The amount of room you've got there now for getting past, especially with a fat ass dog. <laughs> yes. He's probably on a very clean bed at the moment. He's on the very clean bed at the moment. Laid there, collapsed. Yeah. I think you both are. Hmm? Don't know. Laid there, collapsed. So, hope you enjoyed that. Until the next time, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.